Hi, it's Dana with Fabulous Style. I'm here with much darker hair. Just got my hair um, colored today. I'm trying to go to my natural color and it turned out a little darker than I had expected. But um, I have lots of highlights underneath here so this should kind of wash, wash out a little bit and show some of my highlights I guess. So we'll see. Uh, I haven't had a new video posted for a long time. I actually made a video a few weeks ago, but it was on my phone and it's in several different videos. So I, I don't even know how to put that all together. Um, I just decided to start over and make a different video. So this is kind of a collective haul. Some of the stuff I did get today, actually, and some of it I got the last week or the week before. But probably the most exciting thing, and I will start with first, um, or one of the most exciting things, are these Fry boots. These are so cool. I wish these fit me. They're not really my style, but they're just awesome. Um, they have the Fry logo right there on the heel. They're women's size 7, and I already have them listed um, on eBay. And so if you're interested, go check these out. They're brown. I did condition them. I bought some, I looked up online, and most people say the best conditioner for leather is, it's called Bic 4. It's like saddle conditioner. You have to buy it um, at some saddle shops or western stores. Um, so I ordered some and I used it on these boots and they are just so soft and they really didn't have any wear at all. They may have been worn once or twice but there's no real wear on them at all. And I was really excited to find those. Got them at the Assistance League um, thrift store that I like to go to. That same day I also found um, I guess these are probably really the best thing I found. Um, and those, the fry boots, I got for $25. So somebody knew that they were fry boots. You know, I should probably be able to sell them over $100. Um, but the other thing I got that whoever priced these did not know what they were. They just thought that they were house slippers. These little gold slippers. Well, they are Tory Birch. So cute. Look at this. The toe, little tassel toe, and on the back heel it has the a gold Tory Birch button type thing. And so, you know, these kind of shoes, they fit really well, but they don't look good when they're just sitting there by themselves. So um, it's kind of hard to imagine what they'll look like on, but they're super cute. They have not been worn. Maybe one time, looks like there might be a tiny bit of wear on the back heel there. But $5, and these I do not have listed yet. I've been um, using my phone to list a few things and just get them on because it's pretty quick to do it that way. So I may try and list those just so I can get them up. But it's just like a really, I don't know. Um, Usually I use Octiva to list everything. So the other thing I bought that day um, that I, and I have this one listed on eBay as well already. It's a Nanette Lepore um, sweater, cardigan sweater. In the, in the ad, I have it as listed as mint green. And somebody asked me if it's mint green because they're like, it looks a little blue to me. And it definitely does have blue in it, so I, I still need to respond to that person and tell them, yes, this is actually more of a light aqua or blue-green color. It's not actually um, green, but it has the sequins on it in like a flower, big flower print. Very cute. It's a size large um, Nanette Lepore. Three-quarter length sleeve. It's got lamb's wool, rabbit hair and tiny bit of cashmere. Um, and that one, I think I paid $12 for that. Um, this I bought a while back, and I don't think I put it in a thrift haul. They're men's Tom's shoes, and they have um, kind of a wool flannel top up here, 
and this is a big leather patch on the bottom that says Tom's, of course. And they don't, I mean, these don't have really anywhere at all on them either. Um, nice thick cotton, um, like a cotton duck canvas shoe. There weren't any um, shoelaces, so be easy enough to put in a pair of shoelaces. But um, those are nice, nice men's Tom's shoes. So I'll I'll get those listed. They're I mean you know for spring they're really not a summer shoe. The thick with the wool over here. So I might have to wait till fall. I don't know. Um, but another thing I bought only because these are in such great condition because they're <laughs> they're kind of crazy. Uh, they are they're actually Papilio. It's a Birkenstock brand um, shoes. They look just like Birkenstocks. I'm from Eugene, Oregon. Lots of people wear Birkenstocks here. These are the fancy Birkenstocks. I've got their, it's got a rhinestone button or a buckle on there. And I've never actually heard of this brand, but it must just be a new style that Birkenstock came out with. And they're brand new. They're a ladies seven. Um, and just bright color, um, so stitching on them. They're pretty cute. If you wear Birkenstocks, these could be your fancy wear with, um, uh, cropped pants. Little kids. I also bought that day at the, for 50 cents a piece, I got two of these. Uh, these are those shoes in here, but they're just two of the um, purse dust bags, uh, coach purse dust bags. So those will be nice to put my coach bags in. Um, a little while ago, I bought this Toomey um, briefcase, and these Toomey is an awesome brand. It's says to me all over it. It's got the shoulder strap with a nice thick um, comfort strap. It un unzips and has, I suppose you could register it. It has a barcode thing right there. Um, I don't, of course, have the original receipt or anything, but it's just a nice briefcase, laptop bag, this back here opens up for that section. This section has a spot for pens and it actually opens up more. Um, key, key ring thing. So nice striped fabric inside. And then the other day I found, um, and maybe it won't, it won't even do any good on here. I found two at the assistance league. I found two to me locks that say to me on them with the keys. And I was thinking, oh, that'd be perfect to, I'll just add them, it, add one of them in with this bag. But this, these zipper pulls don't have the holes on them. So I guess I could, I'll just have to try and sell those separately. But there's this leather up here, and it's kind of a nylon microfiber um, on the body of the bag. So I haven't tried to list it yet. I actually bought this quite a while ago, and it's just been sitting in my family room. So, what else did I get in here? Oh, today, well, I bought a couple of books. I like Lisa C. books. She wrote Snowflower and the Secret Fan, and this is Shanghai Girls. This has been out for quite a while, um, and I don't have it yet, so they had that for a dollar. And then I bought this one mostly just because I like, I have a stack of books, and I like to look for books that have a pretty, um, spine on them. This one's the language of flowers, so I bought that. I also had bought, I love, 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 love the book. Um, it's on here. The Hotel Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet. If you haven't read that book and you like to read, you should definitely read that. It's told from the perspective of a little Chinese boy in um, Seattle and from like during World War II. But you you should definitely read that book. But this is the same author, Jamie Ford. It's called Songs Willow Songs of Willow Frost. And can't really 
remember exactly. It's about a girl. Her mother died, and she goes to an orphanage, and then she sees a woman in a movie or in a theater, and she's convinced that that's her mother. Actually, I don't know if her mother died, but she was found herself in an orphanage anyway. So we'll see. That's a good book. Um, another thing I bought today was um, these slip-on shoes, which I can't seem to pull out. These slip-on shoes are by Stubbs and Wooten. Palm Beach. I've never heard of them before. I had never heard of this brand. So I looked it up on eBay and it sells pretty well. Um, so these, usually, I don't know, it seems like you can tell by the bottom of shoes if they're leather and they kind of have that. I don't know, these are made in Spain. They're um, genuine leather, kind of a velvet on top with an animal print slide with a wooden heel. So we'll see. I'll, I'm sure I'll try and list these. I don't, they're a size nine. They might actually fit me. I could usually wear an eight, but, um, and I love animal print shoes. So it's possible I may end up wearing these because they are cute. Another thing I bought, it's only $2. I look at this every single week. It is just a wristlet. There's nothing special about this except that it is exceptionally soft. There's no pocket on the back. It's just a little, um, leather bag. Um, it's only, it was $2 every week. They put this in a different spot. They'll hang it somewhere else. And I look at it. I pick it up. I look it over. I search and search and search because a long time ago, I'm almost positive that I bought a vintage coach bag that had this exact same lining. It's a gray with a white stripe. Gray. It's dark brown with a white stripe. And I keep looking at this and searching it and searching it to see if it has a coat, that little coach stamp, you know, that's on old, it's on vintage coach items, and maybe this is not a coach. Maybe it's made by, like, someone else who worked with coach, who went out on their own. I don't know. But it has, I'm almost positive it is that exact same lining. It's probably not coach. But I thought, I just, I have, every, I see it every week, and I just, for $2, I'm just going to get it, and I'm just going to use it myself for, as a makeup bag or something. I don't know, but I just, it was taunting me every week. I bought it. Um, then, oh, yeah, I bought this just because it was a dollar and it's made in Portugal. They had marked it down. I'd never seen it there, um, but it looks like it had had a price tag on it. And I'll take the price tag off because it kind of makes the plate ugly. But I just thought this was so cute. I have no idea what I'm going to um, use it for. It says, uh, salud. And just somebody like, Drew this on a plate and then put, you know, glaze over it and baked it. It's just cute. Don't know what I need it for. But just one of those things. And then this I bought. And I've never heard of this brand. Um, nor could I looked up a brand. I looked up H&H, &H, which I found some things were H&H. &H. They didn't look anything like this bag. This is like a crossbody bag. Um, that you'd probably want to wear the other way, so the H&H &H didn't show, but it's leather, a nice canvas, but it has these cute little birds on it. I love birds. I'm just such a sucker for anything decorative that has birds on it, and this, again, is really not my style, but, <laughs> but it's so cute, and I will, I will use this. I will use this as a crossbody bag. Um, it's got nice, I like bags that have like a strap on them that remind you of like a really nice belt. So it had this extra little thing on here, but, um, that's the only thing. There's no other tags inside. It's just completely plain. There's no, nothing inside that has a brand. So I don't know, H&H, &H, I guess that's the brand. If you know something about H&H, &H, please leave me a message because I would love to know more about it. Okay, uh, 
this other. We went to a St. Vincent de Paul after we went to the Assistance League. I found some things there. This is a uh, Brahmin bag. See, it's got the Brahmin tag thing plate there. Okay. And um, it doesn't have the hang tag, which is usually hanging on one side or the other. Um, it's, I don't think it's in here. I didn't even look. But just a nice, it's a nice little bag. Very cute. Or I like bags like this for travel when you just want to carry the least amount with you and you can wear it as a crossbody bag and not have to worry about your bag. But this is big enough. I have a crossbody bag that my my cell phone just barely fits into it. So, um, but it's you know like a mock crocodile and then a um, straw. So that's cool. I like I, that'll be a nice little spring and summer bag. Um, and then I kind of splurged. These were half price, but they had them marked thirty four ninety nine men's. That upside down Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo men's shoes. They look like they've been maybe worn a few times, maybe possibly a little bit too narrow or something for somebody. They're Ferragamo shoes. They have the Ferragamo name right here and kind of a modified horse bit look here, like most Ferragamo shoes have. And so um, they're just beautiful. They're a 10D leather insole. And I will definitely be trying to list these as soon as possible because they look like they've only been worn on carpet. And uh, very nice shoes. So I went ahead and splurged, spent half, they were half off. So I got those. And then I got this little belt that ended up costing me like a couple dollars. It was $2.99. It was... 25% off. It's nice and long, but this is a lizard skin belt. And I've sold men's lizard skin shoes, so I'm assuming that the belts um, will sell also. This is Martin Dingman, and it is a 44, so it's, it's a long belt. <laughs> and I know in women's, larger sizes sell better, so we'll see if that holds true for men. Um, then I did buy for myself a skirt that came from Nordstrom, Caslon brand, just a plain gray skirt. So, didn't try it on. We'll see. And then I picked this up. I always look at the, you know, like when you go somewhere for the day and you have to take your lunch. This is just one of those lunch packs. It's uh, 31 is the brand which they're kind of an online sales thing, have all different kinds of bags. But this, it has the um, uh, heat stuff, should keep stuff cold, insulation stuff. And then plus it has the top comes up higher, so it kind of closes like that on the top. And it's just, you know, cute bag for lunch, for work, to take stuff to work or um somewhere else for the day when you want to need something to stay a little bit cool. Um, I also bought this white Chico's jacket just to wear over um, like sundresses and stuff. I don't know, in the summer it's always hard to find something that's really thin and light to wear over. I don't, I'm not crazy about wearing um, sleeveless stuff. So I'm always looking for something that's nice and thin. This is super, super thin and just kind of like almost gauzy, but it's nice and fitted. So, um, I think that'll be nice for summer. Then I also found at that store, these Ugg boots, just regular plain Uggs. They're in really good shape. They were $12.99 and 25% off. So, um, you know, the furry stuff inside. They're actually a women's five. They're super small, but they're a, you could buy these for a kid too. I don't know. That'd be like a kid's something. I don't know. <laughs> so, 
So, anyway, I picked those up because I thought, I looked them up, and just the plain black ones, um, they still sell really well. And that's, oh, well, that's not quite it. The last thing I bought, and I don't know how the color is going to show up. Pretty good, actually. This is just upholstery fabric. And so I think this would be beautiful. It's kind of a stone blue, I guess you'd call it. And um, I think this would be gorgeous with, like, on, if you had dining room chairs and then, like, the armed chairs, you know, you had, there was another print that actually went with this or just on your dining room chairs. But this is, there's a lot on here. Three, three, some, four and a third yards. So that's a lot. I mean, you could actually do as, you could actually recover a chair with this. So, um, so that was exciting. One extra little thing if I ever, oh, I know what I, I might use this as the back of a throw that I, that I plan on making. So kind of have one planned out already. I really should just do that, see how it turns out. And then I could use all my, I have samples, fabric samples that are all in different um, sizes that I want to piece together and make kind of like a quilt looking on one side and then just a plain fabric on the back, but make it as a throw and not like big enough to cover a bed or anything just to put on um, a, a couch. The last thing, I keep mentioning this in my videos, and I'm actually, I'm just going to show it. I'm not, I don't think I'll do a video on how I made this, because it's really kind of self-explanatory. But I, my mother took my daughter and I on a cruise. Let's see, and I have a blog post about this. Um, it's fabulousstyle.blogspot.com. If you're interested in, I kind of have an explanation but these are little you know gems little tiny gems that took me forever to find this small of a little rhinestone that I took a map that I printed out from online um it's western Europe we went say up here is Norway the stops we did in Norway then Germany Amsterdam Belgium and France and we went we took a tour and went into Paris and so then at Hobby Lobby and Michael's, I found, because this, I wish this had a little thing down here, and I would have put all these, hung it underneath here, um, but it only had one loop, so I found this spacer thing, and then I have um, the Eiffel Tower, there's a key here, a passport, they're charms, charms of a passport, the Eiffel Tower, um, this is... Looks, it's like from their storybook collection, but it looks to me like one of the kind of houses or small castle type things that they had in in um, Bruges, Belgium. That's where we went. Most awesome place ever. It was just the most amazing vacation ever. And so I wanted to make something kind of like a charm necklace as a keepsake. And so I um, saw... Of just a necklace like this that was just this on Pinterest and then I thought oh well, I want to mark the places we went and so I'm um, just used Mod Podge and this is just one of those open frames and just glued it right in here it was not hard at all and it was a lot of fun and just searching for the charms was probably the hardest part because there's not a whole lot of charms out there and some of them you know are silver some of them are kind of that brassy color and so um but that's a fun little fun little um project that I would definitely do again for another vacation that we've been on so um that is it that's all I have to show you and thank you so much for watching my videos and please check out my auctions on eBay I'm a tax preparer, so I'm really close to the end of tax season, and I'm going to be listing a lot more stuff right now. only have like 10 or 12 things listed, so, but check them out, because <laughs> cause they're all really awesome things, and you might be interested in them. Those boots and the sweater, I know, are on there right now. So, um, thank you again, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.